Eastern Promises, first requested to me by Kyle Kieser and directed by David Cronenberg, is a 2007 crime drama that takes place in London where a midwife, played by Naomi Watts, finds a mysterious diary with a 14-year-old mother that dies in childbirth. She tries to translate the diary to figure out what she can about the mother and the child, but before long she ends up mixed up with the Russian mafia. As she attempts to figure out the truth, her life becomes dangerous and a whole lot more complicated. All right, so Eastern Promises was another request I knew absolutely nothing about. Hadn't heard of it before, hadn't watched the trailer, nothing. Went in completely blind. And I think that actually helped me in this case because this movie really kept me on my toes. And I gotta say, I really like this film a lot. I think it does play to the conventions of the mafia or mobster genre pretty effectively, but it still manages to throw a few surprises in there that give the film a bit of character. Eastern Promises is the type of mobster film that's you know, clicking on all cylinders. That's the way I would describe it. It gives the audience a look into the lifestyle or you know, a world in which it will probably likely feel very foreign to them. And it still maintains that sense of atmosphere by continually raising the stakes throughout the film. There's this tension that follows the characters everywhere they go because of those stakes. And in a mafia or mobster movie where, you know, life is very precious, more so than usual, that's really important. And the stakes, you know, being in this case that Anna is digging and, you know, trying to figure out what happened to this 14-year-old mother, you know, where she came from and, you know, how the Russian mafia is involved in this whole process. And obviously the Russian mafia is not a fan of her asking so many questions. What I liked about the way Eastern Promises approaches its characters is that it chooses to develop them, you know, both sides pretty equally, both sides of the coin here. It's not like we spend, you know, the whole film watching the story unfold from Anna's perspective. We also spend a great deal of the film watching Viggo Mortensen's character, Nikolai, navigate the mobster lifestyle. So you're seeing that mafia mobster lifestyle as well, and you're seeing also Anna's side to the story as well. You're seeing both sides play out together. I think this adds weight to the story because it feels as if you have these two conflicting paths that are going to eventually converge, you know, in a way that's probably maybe not going to end so well. I think Eastern Promises does a great job dedicating its time to, you know, the appropriate characters at the appropriate times. It's very well balanced and very well structured in that way. This story feels like it is structured and paced in a way that, you know, allows the viewer to stay pretty engaged with the story from every direction possible. There are a lot of moving parts here, and I think the pace does a nice job giving you little pieces of information here and there, you know, until they can reveal the bigger picture as that starts to become clear. But it's done really, really well. I also think the performances, unsurprisingly, are fantastic. Although this film does incorporate a pretty small cast, everyone brings their A game. Naomi Watts is awesome. Viggo Mortensen delivers one of the best performances I've ever seen from him, which is certainly saying something considering how great he is in everything. And the rest of the supporting characters, you know, they all aid tremendously in making this film feel consistent and authentic. Those are the two best words I think that would describe Eastern Promises. And I don't claim to know the inner workings of the Russian mob, never been in the mob, but Eastern Promises is consistent in how it portrays the Russian mob. And that consistency is really important. And I think whether a mobster movie is realistic is difficult, obviously, for most of us to accurately determine. But I think one of the most important things is that consistency making sure character actions are consistent with the atmosphere being set up, and making sure there are legitimate consequences for mistakes and missteps and so forth. Asian Promises captures the pop culture understanding of what mafia life is like in the same way a film like The Irishman does. It's just as brutal, if not more so, in the depiction of the lifestyle. I think what's interesting about the way Asian Promises develops its characters is that it is fairly minimalistic. It doesn't necessarily reveal the intentions of each character besides Anna until the story develops pretty far along. I mean, I like this approach for this specific film because I did feel like I knew just enough about each character to understand their place in the story, you know, and what the consequences of various scenes meant for them. I like that as a viewer because I was able to, you know, watch each scene through, you know, like the first half of the film without having any real idea of where they were going and what each character would do in a given situation. I also found that Eastern Promises does conversations really, really well. The script excels at both the loud and the violent, and it also excels at the way the characters just converse with one another. I liked how the Russian mobsters especially are, you know, entirely different based on who they're interacting with. The film does a great job through its writing and through its performances, you know, showing how there can often be multiple versions of the same person or the same character that exists within various contexts. In the time you spend with Anna, you know, you're sharing her perspective, you almost come into the situations as naively as she does until she and the audience learn to pick up on the signs that she's being given. And I really liked how, like I said, you're getting both sides of the story by seeing both perspectives, as if you're seeing two worlds, you know, converging into one as the story progresses. But I would be remiss if I didn't mention the score. There's this 
violin music that adds almost a beautifully unsettling feel to the film and an identity to it. This music comes up, you know, a lot mostly when you're seeing the inner workings of the mafia, and it immediately became one of the highlights of the film for me. It helped me sort of sink myself into this atmosphere that, you know, that much further because I felt like the culture of the Russian mafia is, you know, present in that score. There's just so much to like with this movie, and the score is definitely one of the best things about it. And I do have to say, honestly, that it holds up very well 10 plus years later. The only bad thing I can say about it is that I didn't always feel like the film was able to hook me emotionally. I think there are some slow periods where, you know, I felt like I was getting more detective work and more mob stuff, but I wasn't directly connecting with Anna in the way I should. This definitely sorts itself out by the end, I'd say. But I felt like instead of having an emotional investment in the characters, I became a bit more interested in seeing more of the mob and crime underworld instead. This is a very small criticism of this film because ultimately I did love it, but I do think that the point is it took me a while to feel something for the characters, which is a little bit of a problem. But overall, this movie is great and you should definitely watch it provided you can handle the brutal imagery. And trust me, it is pretty brutal, so just consider that before you go watch it. As for the pros and cons, for the pros, I think the performances are all awesome, the sense of atmosphere is great, the score is very strong, and the writing is also very good. As for the cons, I didn't always feel like I had an emotional connection to the characters. I'm still going to give Eastern Promises a 9.5 out of 10 and highly recommend you check it out provided you can handle the brutal imagery. This film doesn't pull any punches, but it feels more authentic because of it. So if you've seen Eastern Promises before, what did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. Also, let me know your favorite mobster movie. For me, it's The Godfather Part 2. I know that's probably an easy choice, but The Godfather Part 1 is really great too. The Irishman is great. This is really great. There's a lot of good ones. But for me, The Godfather Part 2 is the choice. Either way, interested in hearing your thoughts, so make sure to let me know in the comments below. And this is Wolf Oxification signing off. I'll see you guys in the next video.